I think that PvP Fire Staff might be better than Gorgons, but I should probably double check that. So, let me just check the damage output real quick of these. Um, so, I would go for Alacritus Punishment. Say a diamond for now, just to keep it simple. Uh, probably pen the empowered. Because I think that's relatively consistent to proc and it's a really good DPS boost. And then your last slot would probably be a weapon perk or attunement. Probably attunement. Because you want to use... Uh, you want to use elemental band, so this would be if I go up to say 50 it and just use it as a baseline for both of the builds. This would be doing 914 on a primary. Okay, so let me remove that now. Uh, go for the other fire stuff, that's good. The one with the PvP one that has a lacritus punishment on there, a flint stick. So 916 is what we're looking to beat. You can upgrade this to 700. And that's the wrong one. Yeah, 700. And then last perk on here would be Pendy Empowered. And then we want to go up to 50 stats. And then... Because otherwise you just cut your con, basically. 617. So yeah, this does do more damage. The other one was 616. So. It is better to use this lower gear score fire stuff. M2 drops way more Legos. Always has. PvP should be... I should be upgraded by 725, change my mind. Yeah. Uh, I'm not lying, right? That did say 616 before, and now it's 671. Do you have your build somewhere? Which one? I have a lot of builds. But I'm trying to put them all in one spot now. I mean, this should deal more damage. Like, it kind of makes sense. All of them, I guess. Uh, in the process of putting them on the site, I think I have four on the site right now, and I could do up to like seven or eight uh, that I've completed effectively because I have a video about them too. I'm trying to get that finished for tomorrow. It's they aren't publicly viewable right now. It should be publicly viewable tomorrow. Just been busy. Was 9.90, now 6.90? Why does it say 32 base damage? Wait, is Flintstick just bugged? Yeah, I'm confused. Not gonna lie, I'm really confused. Servers back up. Nice. Not mine, though. No. It's the Lacritus Punishment. We would go Pen and Weapon Perk. Or Attunement. Probably Attunement. I mean, this is, I think this is probably better. Yeah, this is doing way more damage. 
Which, it's, this should be the same amount of damage as the PvP staff. I don't know why this is dealing more, but... You could upgrade that to 625 too. I also didn't put a gem into PvP staff, but... This, this should be more damage with the attunement cheese. Uh... And say I just throw in a diamond in there as well. Electric. It's just activation cooldown, cool. So then we want deep freeze. Not gonna worry about the third perk too much, and then heart ruin we'd want stone. A ring we'd want elemental. I think there's two options in terms of the, the gear that seem viable to me. Nimble Coat seems viable to me. And then I think it's a little bit worse than some of the other options. Uh, I think that the wing leather shoes are the best DPS oriented uh, artifact that you can get right now for this build. Uh, I need to grab the weight thing for light because I don't know what you run with the medium boots. I'm just pulling it up real quick. Cool. Let's go light. Oops. Did I lock in? Just reset all the filters real quick. Okay, cool. Uh, so now I want light, and I have medium boots. So the best I could do is medium legs, and then light everything else. That's perfect. There's a really good medium leg piece. Uh, no wait, that's not that's not perfect. That would be a medium boot piece. Uh, so we want gorgons for everything. But you don't have to get, you can get 700, it's probably fine. Medium, we want light. Should be light as well. This should be light as well. Amulet should also be Gorgons for now. Earring should also be Gorgons. I don't think there's any cooking with this build, really. I think it's a it's a very straightforward build to make. Uh, on Deep Freeze, you have a few options. The one that I kind of like for this kind of build is Ice Pylon. The reason why I like that is it's going to proc your Elemental Band very, very consistently because Elemental Band procs off of hits, not off of, like... Uh, AoEs that are like static on the ground, so it's like this is like a free way to proc it. And then you could put uh, a gem in here too. It's a little bit different. Uh, it's like Abyssal, it's a different gem. So we got Lightning here, we got Nature, which we wouldn't want Nature because Nature is like a common thing. Uh, so we probably want Abyssal in here, and then we wouldn't want Abyssal in here, we'd want Arcane in our Rune Glass. Because you can't normally get Arcane. And then we'd want a Thorny Reflection somewhere. And that would get us to the cap in terms of, like, the most amount of Elemental Band procs that we could have. Uh, in terms of skill tree, you have a few different options. Enchanted Ward is kind of nice, but I think Elemental Version is a little bit better, and you just kind of play to keep your distance. No, you got to go Enchanted Ward, to be honest. You have to go Enchanted Ward. If a melee gets on top of you, you don't have Enchanted Ward, you're just dead with this build. 
You can't grade out the elemental version. Next prio perk would probably be refreshing. Can we get refreshing on amulet? Or not on amulet. Amulet you don't want refreshing. Rust protection amulet for sure. Last slot is flexible. Shirking and power makes sense. Uh, but I don't think that's what we're going to go for. I, I think... Can we go... No, we can't go for a damage type. Um, so this would be Purifying Heart then. Or we can go for Invigorated Punishment or Mortal Empowerment. Both would be effective. Probably don't want Purifying Heart, honestly. Probably want Invigorated Punishment. In most modes, Mortal Empowerment is also good. So we are going to have an issue with Empower then. Right? Like we're going to get to 20. Uh, if I do like a somewhat standard IG tree. Which is like mostly you go left, which is why people usually run it with rapier because it's like it feels really greedy. Um, is there another thing I can cut? Player we can cut. Probably combat speed. That's pretty typical for fire staff to not even go for burnout with this kind of thing. So something like that. Uh, so we need refreshing. What's going on in our ring? Probably refreshing is a lock-in. Probably uh, empowering toast is a lock-in. Healthing toast is also not that bad. What do you want? Healthy toast over empowering toast? I don't think so. Both of them are really good, though. Endless Thirst. Uh, I mean, you could go Endless Thirst and not go Elemental Band. That would be another option. It's empowering Toast could be Healing Toast too, or Healthy Toast too. that would be fine, because your Consume should be Mana. Uh, powerful Mana, and then it should be Flame, or Fire, or Potion. Then it should be Health. Then... Probably regen over serum for this kind of build. We probably want fire harnessing. Because I think we're actually going to have an empower problem. Because we're not in close enough range to where you can really proc like a dodging empower kind of perk. Honestly, unimpeded sounds decent. I feel like stam recovery for this kind of build isn't that bad either, though. I feel like it's a little bit better. Because you're basically just buying time waiting to get peeled and waiting to get healed if you get dove on. Uh, unimpeded would be nice, but like this is a build where you, you are spamming dodge a lot if you get dove on. Like You're just trying to create distance. Uh, Golden, thank you for T1, by the way. I appreciate it. Uh, always coming in clutch. Uh, refreshing. Almost up to a year now, too, dude. It's crazy. 
Do we need any weapon perks? We need Empowering Meteor Shower, actually. Uh... Do we need anything else? Do we need Fireball? We definitely want Pillar. And that's all of our slots. Okay. Oh wait, we have other slots up here. Uh, this is a fire harnessing. And probably a refreshing for the last one here. Uh, all of this, so I'm gonna do a 2x split. Um, so let's make this the x real quick. So I'd want elemental and then the flame thing. So ignited. Elemental Ward is what we're looking for, for all these pieces. This is again a trick to boost your empower, to use ring glass. This is a glass cannon style build. It's just a more ranged glass cannon style build. We also forgot a hasted vigor. Uh, so that's a lock in. Um, and then we would want an elemental in here. We want double physical, and we don't have any conditioning, so we're fucked. Uh, never mind, we want three. We do three physicals then. Would you ever go Moonstone with this build? Yeah, I think you go Moonstone, actually. Wait, it's not called Moon in here, it's Slash Ward. Uh, does that make sense? Because I don't think you're going to be taking strike damage at all. And you're really just worried about the slash incoming. And we have thrust for coverage. And then we have a little bit of elemental. Do you have a bow build without bolt caster? I don't think so. So this this refreshing slot, this could also be fireball. Uh, the problem with fireball is like, if it's fireball it deals 8% damage and an additional 12% to targets above 50% health. Like it's not that good, but I mean, honestly, it's probably good enough to run it. It just doesn't feel that good. It used to be so much better. Um, let's put in our rabbit. Let's put in our honing. Mana food. Desert sunrise is extra, but you don't. It's it is another buff. Uh, con, we want to get to not that. We want to hit 500, basically. <laughs> like, we want almost to hit 500. Like, if we could hit 500, that would be fantastic, but I don't think we can hit 500. Uh, yeah, you can get 150. Like, that's so good. Oh, wait. Yeah, you can hit 500. I just have to bump these up, right? 725, 725, 725, and we should be able to hit 500. Yep, 500. Uh, so, 500 in 150 con. Uh, good amount of damage. Okay amount of damage mitigation. Fire harnessing for DPS. A room glass for DPS. This will basically just give us to the empower cap at this point. Uh, you see all the elemental affinities are calculated in there now. So we have diff six different types of elemental affinity. We have all of our harnessing, all the room glass that gets us to the empower cap, not even including the tree. So you might even be able to cut some of these as well. Like some of the harnessings could be cut for other stuff. Uh, it's, it just depends how much we want to rely on the tree. So if after not taking damage from an attack last three seconds, gain in power. Uh, any other sources of empower besides the rune? Above mana, you get in power. Like I'm not probably going to experiment with it too much. Uh, we, we can optimize it. Let's optimize it. I think you could run too refreshing. That's what it comes down to. I think you could run too refreshing. Uh, and you end up with enough in power anyway. Because you have another 10% built in from this left tree. 10% uh, increased damage that's not in power. So we got in power from there. We got in power from there. You also have runes of Helios, which isn't super consistent. We also have empowered meteor shower. Wait, you're fine. You have empowered meteor shower too. Yeah, let's max out refreshing actually. Because we have Empowering Meter Shower too, right? 
Yeah, because so that's yeah, we're we're good, we're good in terms of empower. We're we're fine. Uh, maybe even going a little bit overboard with the one harnessing here. Like honestly, this could be cut for something else. Like you probably don't need it. I feel like the gems are like a decent option for this build. So this would be a 10, uh, 15, 0, 15 split. Where you have 15 to slash, you have 15 to thrust. You have 0 to strike, but you're never going to get hit by a strike, so you're fine. Uh, and you get 10 resistance to elemental, so you're like generally decent towards everything. I'm a, uh, the Enchanted Ward will kind of keep you up a little bit. Uh, Ice Pine one's there to basically proc the... Uh, elemental ban effect like that's mostly it but it, it is a, a bit of a class cannon kind of build uh people usually run this with rapier they don't go ig but you still have 15k hp like it's something uh, i have one more refreshing than i need to run actually so we can cut refreshing putting another fire harnessing in here so we could be a little bit more consistent but yeah it's a glass cannon build that's how fire staff is built nowadays uh it hits hard it does damage uh, for EU, for reference, I got a mock EU roster the other day. Uh, EU slots eight fire staffs right now. Uh, most of them are rapier, though. They're not IG, but you can run IG as well. It's a very, very popular class to run in war. The main thing that it's good at is it's really good at countering light players. So you have a light, squishy SNS hatchet running around, right? Fire staff just deletes the kid in a few seconds. Like, just gone. Like, you don't even have to worry about it. Hit him, like, once. Uh, there is one trick, too, with this build that I was hearing about. If you have access to macros, you can bind your pillar of fire and a macro to also trigger target lock at the same time. There's someone in EU who did that, and they didn't miss a single pillar of fire the, throughout the entire war. Uh, so that's a pretty nifty trick. <laughs> a very easy way to confirm uh, kills on targets. <laughs> Just bind a pillar of fire to target lock as well. Um, yeah, no, this class is stupid strong. So basically, if you want to get banned, do that. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a really silly class. Right? Because wing leather boots, this procs every time you have haste. You have haste to vigor for haste. You have uh, combat speed for haste. I guess we should probably take quick cross for haste too. Uh, so let's cancel refreshing for us because we're probably not going to be procking that super often or something like that. Uh... Honestly, this critical frost, we, we don't need to go this far down. Like, we're, we're fine. Um, but something like this. Like, it, it seems relatively strong. Stone forms to help you live. That's basically your only get out of jail free card. If you ever pop the IG stuff, you're probably dead. You can drop a shower and hope that you get peeled, but you probably won't get peeled, so good luck. Um, and the yeah, alacrity is punishment. Obviously good because basically everyone has haste now. Penetrating and powered. Uh, obviously pretty good because armor penetration is better than vicious. Uh, armor penetration is pretty solid. If you are just hunting light builds though, maybe consider vicious over penetrating and powered. But if you're hunting like light builds and like a little bit tankier light builds, trying to force off heavy players too, like penetrating and powered should be a little bit better mathematically.